Hey viewers, welcome back to more Zelda. I found a labyrinth. Uh, I mentioned it in the last episode that I walked past this, but I've walked all the way around it and I can't find an entrance to it. So I think the entrance is up on top. Up there somewhere. But uh, I've got other things to do today, so I'll just mark this on my map and come back to it later. Oh look, is it south, south. Lome Depths Labyrinth. It's even on my map already. So it's an important location. There's a dragon down here. Oh my god. There's a Zonite dragon. Quickly. Let's intercept him and shoot him in the face. What are you doing down here, dragon boy? Right, where is he going to fly by? He's quite high up. It looks like Farosh. Why would Farosh be down here though? Oh, I can take a picture and find out who he is. It is Farosh. Look at that. What are you doing down in the depths, buddy? Down in the ding old dips. Anyway, what was I saying? Right, yeah, so labyrinth. I'll come back to it later. Oh, there's a... There's a route there, so we can get some light down here if I get into that labyrinth. Um, but yeah, today I'm going to go back to the Great Abandoned Central Mine and investigate that a little bit. And also talk to the post statue again and find out what the riddle was. And see if we can just like discover the mysteries of the pose. This guy is taking his time to get over here. Alright, let's get our key swing up ready. I have to fly over there and bang him in the head. Yeah, he's going he's going away. Let's get closer. Hey Farosh, I'm shooting in the face. Where's that gonna go? After it. Ooh. A shard of Farosh's fang. 20 attack power. Oh. And now I'm down here. <laughs> Alright, thanks for Rosh. I'll catch you later. Okay. Well, I think I'll just teleport. I'll just teleport up to the mine. I'm going to go find out what I missed over here. So in the last episode... I talked to a, a uh, construct guy and he told me I had to go back to the mine because I missed something. Because he has something to give to me but he can't give it to me until I've been to the mine and I've been to the mine. So I don't understand what I missed. Right, where am I? I want to go the other way. This way. Yeah, there, there it is, the big old central mine. Maybe I should ride this minecart track. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to see where the minecart track goes. I did ride a load of minecart tracks when I first discovered the mine, so I don't actually know if I've been here or not. Although there's there's post holes around, so maybe this is not where I was. I don't know how these respawn. 
This is the giant statue. Oh. I think I've been here. Yeah, I've been here before. Okay. So these pose do respawn. I don't need to be so particular about picking them up every single time now. I've got over 400 of them. <laughs> that might not even be enough to get my armor. Okay, here we go. This is the giant pose statue I found. And he told me a mysterious riddle. I am trapped under the water behind the stone gate of the Great Plateau. That's the what it was. Under the water behind the stone gates of the Great Plateau. So I need to go and find that. And I, I'm going to guess that it's going to be a mini pose statue that I can spend my pose at. But what else have I missed in this um, great central mine, then? Definitely missed something. Because this is the first statue. This is the first Zelda slash goddess statue I found. That led me to the refinery. But maybe there's some stuff up here. There is, here it is. I can't believe I missed all this. Look at this. There's a forge. There's wings around. There's researchers. Oh no, they might be bad. They may be baddies. Let me get my frocks bad out. My toenail hoe. They are researchers. Ah, I didn't think we'd see anyone else down here. Though I imagine you could say the same to us, huh? You're here to investigate too, right? I know, since you took the ye I mean, the survey team interview. <laughs> because we definitely took that interview too, that's why we're here, yep. <laughs> I'll take a look at this, our latest discovery nearly knocked us off our feet. We found this weird device with these wavering green letters on it. And this strange statue. That looks like a boss room over there. We think it's one of those living stone constructs. Pretty sure it's supposed to move, too. Well, I say that, but it's just conjecture on my part. Aww. Truth is, we're in a bit of a panic here. If we don't figure out how this thing works soon, we're going to be in big trouble. These are Yuga Clan people. Mm. It claims that the stone statue should be able to grant us an ancient power. Ancient power? That's right, this particular, a uh, peculiar stone statue is nothing less than one of the fabled constructs. In fact, I have some writing here that explains this so-called ancient power. Am I going to get a new ability? It reads, this ability will allow, allow you to commit any structure you create to memory. Any object committed to memory can be instantly re reproduced. What? I need this power, but I'm going to have to fight these Yiga bastards to get it. And I can make a car right here. And what is this big open space? There's clearly like meant to be a battle happening over there. Alright, let's do it. Mr. Steward Construct, give me your power, please. Conferring auto build to authorizer now. Please utilize it as you explore and exca excavate the depths of Zonites. New power. Dun, 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 dun. 
many hands. <laughs> What's it called? Auto build? Auto build. Alright, so that's our last power. It's not quite as cool as I was hoping. I was hoping for more, like more powers to be unlocked. But I guess just just discovering and finding new um, Zonai devices is kind of like unlocking new powers. Instantly recreate your Ultra Hand products using nearby items and Zonites. And Zonites. You can use Zonite to um, construct things. That's incredible. Could you give us a demonstration? This ability will allow you to commit any structure you to memory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. We both have... Uh, both of our vehicles just broke and we've been struggling to put them back together again. Oh. The wheel on the round pedestal lost a wheel. Oh, the one on the lost... Ah. ah. <laughs> ah. Okay. So first, I don't know why I'm getting a tutorial from Yuga Clan members. Does it go like this? <laughs> wow, look at that. The wheel's right back on there, snug as a bug. Now it's time for the main event, the one on the <laughs> one in pieces on the pedestal. Use the new power and fix it up. The Liggity splits. Right, things you make are stored in the auto build history. Oh. Set as favorite. So I get two favorite slots? History and favorites. Oh, look at that. Oh. And if I didn't have all of the parts available, I could have spent some zonite to build it instead. Wow. Okay. The texts were right after all. Though I'll say that power's incredible. Oh, master! Oh, don't tell me I have to fight Kogan now. Well, look at that. The legends were true. Fuck. Great work, both of you. <laughs> you too, stranger. Credit where credit is due. Yes, credit where credit is... If there's one foe, I'll never forget. It's the man who cast me from my Gerudo Desert hideout into these very depths. It was you! Now I live for vengeance, both upon that no good Zelda and upon my sworn enemy. That means you, Link! Oh. We meet again at last. And don't try to tell me that you've forgotten me. We are bound by fate, you and I. Hear my name and tremble in fear. I am the, ma the leader of the Yuga clan, the strong. Some stuff about ashes. Master Koga. Okay, it was a boss battle room. <laughs> it remembers objects here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You're cheating. I'm not cheating. It's my power. I, I'm the one with the arm. Here we are, working ourselves to the bone to build things by hand. And you can just whip them up in an instant. That's not fair. You know who could have used that power? The one we worship and re revere. The Magnificent One. What? Who's that? If we offered it to him, he would have crushed you and Zelda both. But you just walked right up and snatched it away. Now I'm going to snatch it back. Oh? Prepare yourself.
Give me your, give me your car. No. Ah, uh, ah! Uh, I can't get away. I can't get away. <laughs> Uh oh. I've got one bow left. Okay. Well, you know what's going to happen, buddy. You know what's going to happen. No! Oh. That's not, that's not fair. I wanted to steal this car. No, I'm not around. Shit. Okay. Well, this phase is a bit... Lame. It's kind of hard to hit. And then he hides underneath it. Ugh. Oh, it's a different car. Put a shield up. Doesn't really help you that very much, does it? Should be phase two, right? Is there going to be a phase two? I guess not. I think he just adds to his vehicle every time. Oh, he's put jet powers on it. He's put a shield on it. He's got a shield on the front. Oh. Well, he's still got a shield on the front. going to do I'm just going to jump on the back if I can nope you know what's going to happen next Master Koga Whoa. okay I just had to wait for him to put the rockets back on Can't get any damage off. Ooh. Firepower. No, it didn't hit him. Bomb power. Bombs are all the way over here for some reason. It's really annoying. Ah, uh, by most of you, there we go. Missed. Okay. Huh. Got him. That was a bit easy. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> it's kind of... Not, not quite as fun as the uh, original fight. Are oh, you presky little pest? Why won't, you, why won't you stand still and let me squish you? Well, fine. I suppose I can let you off easy for today. You think you're so smart, but you've already—I've already found a whole bunch of ruins down here. What's that mean? I saw your little trick there. You used your right hand to get that construct going. I'll grab that power myself, you cheated me out of... Wait, I'll grab that power you cheated me out of for myself. 
of the south southwestern abandoned mine. Then the Magnificent One and I will guide this world to its miserable end, and there'll be nothing you can do to stop us. Oh. Look at him go. He took off. So, the refinery that I found down in the... That is the bottom left. That is the southwestern shrine, isn't it? Abandoned Gerudo Mine. Where was it? It was here, because I didn't have a light over there. Yeah. So I'm probably going to have to fight Koga down there again. After I talk to the construct. Thank you for repelling the trespassers. I hope you will pardon me for listening in on your conversation. That man mentioned an abandoned mine to the southwest. I suspect that he is referring to the former Gerudo mine. That place flourished with activity long ago, like this one. Ore was constantly unearthed and refined, and there are statues that point the way. See, if I had just, like, explored a little bit more, I would have been told about the statues, but I just followed the statues anyway. <laughs> Uh, follow them to reach the destination. Okay. I recommend you begin by making your way to the light you see over there. One more thing before you set out on your journey. There's something I'd like you to have. Please speak with my associate when possible. Okay. Huge crystallized charge. Equal to a hundred normal, normal crystallized charges. Wowee. Wowee. I'm almost made it to an energy cell. Almost. Uh, thank you for driving out the trespassers. I will no longer need, need to hide in order to avoid detection. There's another reason that it's good to have come. I have seen that you have the ability to auto-build. That means this schema stone I carry is for you. Oh. These stone slabs depict schematics of things such as Zonar devices. The fan plane. Oh, there's pre-builds. That's what that guy was trying to give me, a schema stone, but I didn't have auto-build yet. Okay. The problem is, my... My energy cell is just, like, not good enough to fly anywhere. Schema stone can help you build things. Yeah, I figured this out already. Okay. Go like this. Go like this. So, if I didn't have the parts, it would cost me 12 zonite to build this. And there's a shop here, too. Hello, buddy boy. I'll buy as many as I can. I'll buy 20 for now. And... I can buy two of these. Okay, we need to do a lot more mining to get... 300. Okay, 40, 40 more to go. And then we can do it. There's a ladder up here. So yeah, when I was first here at the mine, I thought that giant Poe statue, or the Bargainer statue, was the like the main thing to find. And that's why I kind of just left. I thought I was done. <laughs> All I had to do was come upstairs and bam. I get a travel gate, I get all this stuff, I get a fan, a new power. We can fly over to... over here. Wait, have I already, I already lit this one up? 
Whoops. Right, yeah, this is the direction I actually I went when I was uh, leaving. Okay. Well, that was fun. I think I'm done in the depths for today. I want to leave and go and find that great plateau thing. So what I'm going to do... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've just remembered. The reason I came down into the depths in the first place is I wanted to find one of these spots. The old map spots. And I still haven't found one yet. But I've kind of been down in the depths for so long, I want to get back up on the surface now. Uh, so, yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm going to teleport back up here. And dive down onto the Great Plateau and see if we can find the secrets in the water. Ah, back on the surface. Right, so this is the, this is the Sky Island that you guys didn't get to see because it got not recorded properly. There's the chasm I jumped into down there. Um, and there's actually, just underneath me here, a uh, forge construct that I never fought. So maybe we kill this first. Hello! Oh, I thought I hit him, but I didn't. Give me your head. Oh, it's a bit jittery with all the um, bumping. I want to grab your face. Whoa! There's a chest! Oh, this guy has a treasure map in his in his shoulder. Damn, these all of these um, X marks the spots are so far away. They're gonna be so hard to get. Okay, my frog's back broke, but it's okay. I've got a flux core power worm. Ooh, we're seeing new shapes. He didn't do this in the last fight. He kind of just died last time. Ah. Where's your core? Got it. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I lost it. There it is. It's kind of framey when I hit this thing. <laughs> What's he doing? Ah! Can I get you from here? You're you're kind of high up, buddy. Come down. Ah! Hang on, I might need to use these platforms to get up there. I can't grab it. I can't. It's too far. Ah! My fairy! He'll come down eventually, right? Hang on. Reverse! That didn't do anything. Maybe I could ride it up though. Why can't I grab this? Rewind! Take me up! Boop. 
Well, it's kind of working. Ooh, arrow. He's coming for me. Oh, that hurts. Oh, he's going to knock me off the edge. I'm so dead. Eat my fairy tonic. He's coming again. Run! Ah! There's a bloody blood moon coming. I don't have time for this. I can't grab the damn thing. <laughs> I'm taking your legs away. You can't have these anymore. Perfect. Got it. Oh. oh I was going to throw my bat. Bam. Bam. <gasps> That's another fairy gone. I missed it. Ah, oh, that hurt so much. Ah, oh, fucking hell, man. And the range on the fucking... Okay. Oh, no! Wait, I just killed it. This is awful timing, Zelda. Did I kill it before the blood moon? No. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Fuck you. Okay. Is this one or two? Oh, it's one thing. That we can attach to this Zonite spear. Which I'll just take the rock off. There we go. We've got a super spear. Nice. Look at that. Alright. Yeah, I was really worried. I just killed the thing. I was worried it's going to respawn. Like, instantly. Why was I not allowed to grab these floating platforms? That was unusual, right? Yeah, look. I wasn't allowed to move them when I was fighting the guy. It's very weird. Okay, so, Great Plateau. There it is. Let's go. I've still got my cold resistance on, so um, that's good because I need that. So it's in the water I'm looking. Maybe behind the waterfall? Maybe this lake on top of the mountain? There's Farosh again. I should look back at the video and see exactly what it says. Something about... Under the water, the stone gate. There's an arrow here. I don't want to waste this weapon on skeletons. I'll take your bow, though. What? Why is there a dragon bone boko bow right here? These guys are all pointing to the middle, but I can't go into the middle. I, um, I need a raft or something. There's a shrine there. <laughs> I'm out of pins. I've pinned everything. Okay, uh, I don't need this. I think this is a shrine. I'm not certain. Where's the rest of my pins? I think this is a shrine. This might be a shrine. Whoa, look at this big boy. And before.
get smacked. Whoa, snowballs are so OP. Ow, my face. No, no, no. Huh. That was a moblin. That was a black moblin. With a, he's got a pineapple on his head. <laughs> That's kind of neat. Um, I guess I could um, stick that on the soldier's as Travis claiming, I'll stick it on the soldier's spear. Bam. There we go, I got a nice spear. And lots of nice weapons. Yeah, these snowballs though. That was awesome. They're the snowball just like froze him. I like that. Okay, back to it. Where, where is the water? I could try and climb that mountain, but let's stay focused on the task. Trying to find the secret stone gate. Could it be to do with that bridge? Maybe. It said in the water, but you can't go in water. Oh. I shouldn't have froze it. Oh shit. Oh, he's. Oh no, that's not good. Oh, I still got frozen. Oh, it's really... Look at this fog. This fog, like, totally messed me up. Damn it. There's a cave. There's a cave back there. Okay, got him. Oh. No! My bits! No! No, Link, turn around! Fucking hell. <laughs> He's trying to swim in the wrong direction. Ah! Oh, that hurt. <sighs> what was I saying? Right. The, um, I think in one of the caves that you guys didn't see, I encountered an electric version of the like like, and, uh, and a rocky one. I can't remember what's been included in the videos and what hasn't. So it wasn't really too much of a surprise to see a, an icy like like. Discovery. River of the Dead. Waterfall Cave. River of the Dead. Waterfall Cave. Could this be the place I'm looking for? Oh, this. oh, there's a shrine. Okay, I wasn't expecting a shrine down here. It's nice. But I don't think this is the place I'm looking for. I didn't see a gate. And it's not under the water. Well, I guess, I guess we'll do the shrine. Uh, 
Okay, so... The water's electrified. What are these things? Well, that's where the electricity is going into the water. Let's see. Okay. Fire and water. Ooh, there's ice blocks. We had those before. What is this thing, though? It's a generator. I take this out. What's the point in this? I can block this, and now I can go up there. Except I can't, because I can't climb? Or can I climb? Oh boy, okay. Why do I need the ice block? Can I climb this? I can't climb the metal block. Can I climb the icy block? You can climb the icy block. That's why I need it. Mighty Zonite Shield. That looks so cool. It's 50! Why am I finding all these awesome things? Apparently the Great Plateau is meant to be like a high level area or something. Okay, so what's this over here? I can't make it over there, can I? Oh, I need both the blocks. about what we got uh oh it's a wooden box okay again i don't know why i would need a wooden box You gonna drop me my box? Why is there water here? Oh, you meant to grab the wooden box and put it out. Okay, there you go. I don't know why I would need the wooden box, though. Do I have the, um... I've got the chest. There's only one chest. Oh, that's... tricky. Gotta get this just... Gotta get this distance just right. There we go. Okay, so, after all that, why did I need any of this stuff? Because I'm pretty certain I can just put this here. Maybe I need the wooden box and the, um, and the ice block to be able to climb up all the way. Okay, let me put this one here. Oh, I know, I know, I know. I can't use a send from the water, so I need to have, I need to be able to stand in the water. Okay, so the wooden box goes in the water. Now I can stand on that and ascend up through the ice. Whoops. Oof. 
Whoops. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. And that's not tall enough. So I do need, in fact, the stone block as well. To ascend through the ice and the stone block. Uh nuts. Nope. I did it the wrong way around because I can't climb this. So I need to use the stone block in the water and the wooden block and the ice block on top. This is the coolest shrine that we've done so far. <laughs> Shit. I didn't make it. No? I've m no, I've missed something. Maybe... Oh, okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I can simply put these on top of the uh, metal block, right? No, don't do that. Very carefully. Ow! There we go. Woo! Solved. That was a cool shrine. Anyway, that'll do it for today, viewers. I think we're out of time. Uh, back to hunting for the st stone gate in the water in the next episode. See you then. Bye-bye.